and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono blue antiquities. That's right, we are playing the Antiquities War here for Throwback Thursday. If you don't know what Throwback Thursday streams are around here, this is where I'm, uh, this is our third one that we've done, and from here till rotation, I'm putting together decks built around rares and mythics that will be rotating out of standard whenever Throne of Eldraine enters the format that never really saw very much standard play, and we want to play them before they rotate. So as you see, our other decks, we had um, Growing Rights of Itlamok with Mono Green Itlamok. We had uh, Mardu Metal, had Path of Metal, and then of course this Antiquities War here, and then we're playing a Jisath deck for our other deck. What are you doing? Here, stop biting me. Bite the pencil instead. Hawkeye is in a playing mood, it looks like. Um, but yeah, so this is an Antiquities War deck. So as you see here, this saga, the first and second chapters are, look at the top five cards of your library, put an artifact from among them into your hand. So, you know, you get some card advantage there, and then boom, that third chapter, all your artifacts become artifact creatures that are all 5-5, five five, so that can just kill people uh, by just having a few artifacts out. So that's what we have. We have an artifact deck based around this card. In order to get a lot of artifacts, our main way to do that is going to be with the Sublime Artificer. We're going to have Sahili make artifacts for every non-creature spell we cast. And Sai can make some artifacts as well for every uh, artifact we play. And then we got, a, you know, a whole bunch of artifacts, including some fountain renewals over here. Um, you know, our card advantage with Karn, and but both Karns, really. Uh, you know, we have a whole bunch of artifacts in our sideboard for the great creator. Ugin uh, works really well in this deck because making all of our colorless spells cost two less is pretty important. You know, we can just start throwing guild globes and all this stuff out for free. So Ugin does a really good job there. And of course, the Artifice Master can make some Thopters as well. So yeah, this is a pretty cool little deck here. We've just got a bunch of artifact stuff going on. Sideboard, uh, we have a couple Ashioks for the Scapeshift matchup. Um, I'm playing a couple Selective Snares for Vampires. That's my anti-aggro card there. Like this, I'm going to try this one out. Uh, for vampires, just to try to bounce them, try to slow them down. Um, besides that, uh, we just kind of have a whole bunch of other little artifacts that uh, are all pretty good at doing different things. Uh, because we have Antiquities War for a win con, we don't need our Planeswalkers to win the, the games for us, so we can go Immortal Sun there to try to shut down really Planeswalker heavy decks. Yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Mono Blue Antiquities. So it looks like this is going to be pretty fun. Yeah, the Path of Metal de deck was awesome. Uh, it was a good league, and that's what we do here. We play, play a league with the decks, see if we can get to five wins before two losses. We played Vampires three times with Path of Metal and Scape Shift, uh, Simic Ramp, and Simic Flash. Those were our matchups there. Pretty good decks. Yeah, so we're going to make some 5-5 five, five treasure tokens. Tacking in with those. That's going to be fun. Alright, looks good. Oh, I didn't, I didn't switch over from Angrath. Angrath is our path of metal. Need to switch to Karn. There's not a colorless kitty. We'll go with the blue kitty. Our kitty's great. See? All the hearts and everything. Their kitty. Yeah, not great. Yeah, date. My friend David Jones, aka Boot to the Head here in chat all the time. He's coming over for the weekend. So we'll just you know hang out, play probably play a lot of video games, maybe go to what's up, Boot? Uh, maybe go to an escape room. 
I'll eat some sushi. Sorry, I'm late. Maybe watch a movie or two. No, I am not making this up as I go. Maybe grill some, grill some food. All right, let's get this car and keep hitting some land drops. We get to Ugin. I've never done an escape room before. I've got it. I've been playing. Uh, man, I want all these cards. I guess Blast Zone. I guess. It's either that or Psy. Hmm. Nah, it's Blast Zone. Are you certain of your decision? Um, that's not good. Usually Karn just gets more lands, so I was thinking that we were just gonna get more lands. There. At least we got a one mana artifact to play with the Psy. Um, sorry, I've been playing uh Fire Emblem. That's the name of the game. And it's been pretty sweet. I'm about twenty hours in. Maybe a little more than 20 hours in, right around there. And it's been a lot of fun. I'm already looking forward to playing through it again the second time. And I'm, I don't know how much longer is in the first playthrough, but probably a bunch. Kind of doing some cycling. I guess I should have... Honestly, I should have just made a Karn Strike. Okay. I should... No, because I didn't have Sahili at the time. I didn't have Sahili. So, yeah, actually, no. We're good. We're good. But maybe I should make a Karn Struct here, though. And like, kill this to Fairy or something. But they're probably just bouncing out the Kaya. This might be a bad idea. Okay, it's so three houses around 40 hours. Okay. What are they doing over there? Do not Conceding. The That's pretty good. Alright, so my plan there was to tick up on Ugin. And I was going to minus two the Scion of Urza to make a Karnstruct. And then I was going to have Sahili copy like my other 1-1 one, one, and turn it into a Karn Struck to make it really big and kill the the Tezzeret. That opponent did not put up much of a fight. But man, our deck looked really cool. We were doing a whole bunch of stuff. I think that we're, you know, we're going to struggle against people that like attack us and attack my Planeswalkers. That's going to be more difficult than people that don't really attack us very much. Oh, I didn't switch from Angrath to Karn. Why didn't y'all tell me to do that?
Yeah, this could be a better spot for, like, yeah, Mystic Forge would be a good option instead of Antiquities War here also. Angrath does kind of always win, so maybe we should keep Angrath. That's a good, good call there. These Mirage Lands are so cool. Dang, just turn two Risen Reef on the play. How's that beatable? I am not going to sit this one out. Don't worry, I got this. Evolving Wilds. Today, I craft my victory. We did have, a, did have a pretty slow hand here. That's kind of our deck. I've got time. Good, no Nissa. That's good. I like just a bunch of one toughness things against the Healy. Do not mistake grace for weakness. Could blast zone. Let us begin. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Let's have a couple blockers out here. Oh, okay, Matthew. It's not set in stone. All right, opponent's oh, deck's pretty sweet. Tatiova, Follow the Thran. That's pretty sweet. I can no longer stand by and watch. They have to fairy time raveler though, so that takes a lot of the sweetness out of their deck. Let's try this. Give me an idea. That's crazy. We didn't didn't draw anything to do. All right, cool. We didn't have anything to do. All right, so we'll have Thaumatic Compass. Just grab another island for us. Just get an, get an island out of the deck. It's better than activating Field of Ruin. I'm gonna have to kill that thing. Pwn's deck is really neat. That's a good throwback Thursday deck too. Tattoo of a follow the Thran mending a Dominaria.
please a two mana or less artifact. Gosh, it's just all lands. Just all lands. We are but moats in a vast moat, so my plans do not include you. So next turn, we must have just drawn that or something. Next turn plan is like Ugin and Fountain Renewal, I guess. Game's still not over yet, Hazmat. It'd be looking better if we had spells in hand and not That's more like it. five lands. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. It's not over yet, though. What was lost is now returned. Every exploit ripples through time. Ether itself serves me. Would have drawn like three less lands and three more artifacts. I would have liked our chances a lot better. <laughs> yeah, we are literally flooding over here. Look at all this water. It's literal floods. Your talents are worth cataloging. Probably not. Does anyone catalog stuff though anymore? Is that even a thing? No tail should be discarded. Oh, Tamio said Tamio asked if your talents are worth cataloging. I'll protect you. That's Tamio's line. Right, the time has come for the War of the Antiquities. Treasure map's probably a little slow. Let's go with the globe. Hopefully draw another spell here. Okay, what's the spell? Last zone's on three. Yeah, 
They have five basics out, but they don't have basic planes. So good chance they could have another basic here. Wow, they still they have another island? Um... Hmm. Do I need to kill Tamio? Probably. I know they have the other Tamio though. So maybe not. I'm not too worried about the crisis because we have the spires of Araska. So we have the crisis covered. I gotta stay alive for two more turns. I have this Antiquities War still out here for two more turns. Which, I mean, like the Teferi bounces it and everything. It's really like, these two planeswalkers are the biggest problem. The creatures we have we have in check. I'm not worried about them. These planeswalkers though. Ooh, ticking up. I know I noted this somewhere. Flood of Tears. Well, that's a card I can't beat. Yeah, pretty sweet combo our opponents got going on over here. It's just been a good game of magic. We're going to be losing it, but this is a good game of magic. Oh, what is that? It's on four? I have become too involved with my work. All they have to do is Field of Ruin, Spires of Araska, and then kill me. Looks like that's what they got going on here. Um, I do not have anything I can draw off of Found Renewal. Alright, too many lands for us. But... We don't do a great job stopping our opponents, though. So we're going to have, like, the Ashiox will be able to exile their graveyard. Um... Spyglass is going to be pretty important here. We'll have one in the main, keep the other two for the Karns to grab. Um, I think we can trim on 
So we could go Immortal Sun. No, we'll just have Immortal Sun in the in the. Yeah, I'll just have those over there. I think we're just gonna trim on Fountain of Renewal. Maybe a Thaumatic Compass. Since they're a Field of Ruin deck. All right, let's try this out. Why didn't I kill Krasis? Because I had I had the Krasis taken care of. They didn't have like the that field of ruin, but I had the Krasis taken care of just fine. Go map. So I could go compass and then turn three, just activate compass and grab the island so that we know we're playing Antiquities War on turn four. Did I? I had a upkeep stop. Did I not? Hmm. So Field of Ruin or Compass. No, I mean, I really should just draw my card. So we get to play these. All right, let's get this Antiquities War started. Wow, just no lands for them. I'm not good at getting upkeep stops. <laughs> so they have to chump block with two creatures. Just the two. Oh no. Uh That's really really annoying. That's really annoying. Do not talk to me of oh, I played the wrong Karn. I wanted this Karn. Just played the wrong Karn. Stand down.
I, I think we're dead to this flood of tears. That flood of tears is going to be really rough. Alright, so this whole game, so turn two, I really need to play Thaumatic Compass, then turn three, activate Compass, and I, I should have been activating Compass and getting more basics. Learned my lesson there. And I should have just played the Karns and not played, not play Antiquities War. That was a mistake as well. Just playing Karn, I don't get wrecked by Evolution Sage like I got wrecked by Evolution Sage. <laughs> yeah, you play Jank and you run into Jank that goes bigger. Sad, sad feels. Remember when they were missing land drops? We've missed so many land drops that they have more lands than us. They've actually gotten to like six lands now. That's not so much. They're going to flood of tears anyway. I am we don't really have to be too worried about must be built. cracking treasures. I'm not sure if they'll do sagas again. Something they probably won't see again for a while. Yeah, they were a pretty cool design though. The past is never forgotten. Evolution Sage has like single-handedly won both of these games. The amount of counters that it gave the Planeswalkers last game, and then obviously the Krasis. Turns out if you don't have any removal in your deck, Evolution Sage will wreck you.
Alright, we'll get another land out. No, Spyglass does not stop passive abilities. Just activate abilities. That game's going to take a while longer of us losing. I am ready to go on to a different game. We're not winning that. Good call, Death. Thank you so much. I did not remember to change the avatar whatsoever. Alright, Karn. Here we go. Now we got our deck. That was a good call there. Thanks, Ripper. All right. But yeah, I, I played that game pretty bad. Definitely regret how I played that one. You can either have seven spells or seven lands. Nothing in between. Just, <laughs> what, how am I supposed to win this? <laughs> Just zero lands or 10 lands. Nine, sorry, nine lands. Now 10 lands. We are playing against Frost Lynx, though. We got a Frost, Frost Lynx over here. Open for two spells. From like how long that last game was going with like all those those turns that our opponent was taking to like this, I just feel like I haven't done anything in so long. I haven't made any decisions in so long. Farewell and thank you for the lesson. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ugh. All right, let's try it again. Lightning Storm can attacking in the air can certainly be a problem. No, I've never drawn that many lands like that in Paper Magic ever, no.
All right, we get to play some some actual spells. So that's cool. We get some actual spells. Expecting Scampering Scourger. I, I don't want to see Scampering Scourger, but I'm kind of expecting that, which is why I'm not attacking. Um, Green White Company and Modern was my favorite deck. Good attack. Can't really afford to block. Wow, that was a good turn for us. That was a really good turn for us. Get to just empty our hand and just make a bunch of artifacts. Drawing double renewal. That was a great turn for us. So next turn, we have eight artifacts in play. They're all going to be five fives. <laughs> eight five fives. So they can block four of them. Okay, they can block five of them. So they can stay alive. So mana short from playing the Ugin. All right, so that was our deck doing stuff. I mean, so I could have Selective Snare for Elementals and bounce a whole bunch of Elementals. Because obviously that's that's all their deck is. Don't think I really want that, though. Yeah. Yeah, Antiquities War doing its thing. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Risen yeah, Risen Reef with a bunch of elementals is gonna be good. Doesn't really matter what those elementals are. Yeah, Risen Reef, you're good. I've been looking for. Alright, let's look for another land. Come on, just draw us this land, Gil Globe. I want to start playing. I want to play, you know, Sai, Sahili, and then Artifacts. Hopefully we get land. <laughs> we had infinite lands the first... The first game. Mox Amber, of course, doesn't add mana for us. I did not activate treasure map on upkeep because I wanted to be able to play these if we found the land. Yay. All right, so we'll start with Sai. We'll start with Sahili. I guess we have a backup Sahili. Let's start with Sahili. I wouldn't mind them attacking Sahili right now, anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think we need Steel Overseer here. In this deck. 
Not a land, but that's pretty good. Oh, I'll craft something special for you. Guess I can flip treasure map and use one treasure to cast Fountain of Renewal or just cast Fountain of Renewal. Let's flip the map. Uh, Antiquities Warrior cool and everything, but I also just kind of want land for these Ugins. Sorry, Antiquities War. I guess I could have minus two Sahili and turn turn Gil Globe into Mox Amber, but now that then they're legendary, then would have had to sack the original Mox Amber. I didn't need to just have Ugin kill Risen Reef. Like, honestly, like, Risen Reef is... Like, Risen Reef makes their deck so much better than what it actually is. With every... When every, every card draws an extra card. Draw land, please. Not a land. All right, so got to use a treasure. I am ancient and wise. Heed my advice. Be gone, interloper. <laughs> no such thing as islands. Sure seems like that. Yeah, you would never know that the first game, our first 10 cards we saw were lands. 10 for 10. No, I don't have Power Stone Shard, Manifold Key, that kind of stuff, no. All right, so that kills that. This chumps here. That kills that thing, and we'll just let that one damage go through. Still no land? Alright, using our last treasure. I think I still just have to kill Lugan, honestly. My or sorry, so I have to kill Risen Reef. Guide this honestly. I can create or destroy. No. That kills Ugin. Maybe maybe they'll kill Sahili. Time to come up with Hooray! Boo. That can kill again. Glad we had a Risen Reef out of there, though, so they don't just get to draw four cards.
Finally. So kind of too late, I can't double spell. Um... Still mana short of double spelling. Tender shoot dryad? I can't beat that thing. Not without mana. Kill that, kill that. Then a challenge you'll get. Um, yeah, I'll make another one of these. Awaken. I don't know, am I supposed to bash for nine against these endless saplings? This doesn't look good. Doesn't look very good at all. I can't stop Omnath from doing stuff with Spyglass. It's a passive ability. Yeah, Antiquities War would be quite the draw. Fortunately, one's down at the bottom. Do I have Cyborg that I can grab? Not much. Isn't that just going to be an 8-4? Good. 
don't even know like what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't have a good plan. I don't really have the mana to do Helm of the Host stuff. Um, don't really have the mana for Mystic Forge stuff either. I mean, I could try to do like Meteor Golem something. Like the Tender Shoot Dryad. I can Meteor Golem the Tender Shoot Dryad. And like these, this 4 3 flyer is going to kind of be a problem though. Don't, yeah, I don't think I can really afford a Mortal Sun because I'm certainly relying on these Planeswalkers. So playing this, it does kind of has found out that like my deck could really use removal. Not having any removal at all, it's been a huge problem for me. Having to like having to use Ugins to kill Risen Reefs and then letting the Ugins die. Like the Ugin is just too valuable. Really do just want a land here. Cool. I'll flip the compass. That thing's an elemental too. Oh, I didn't want to go to attackers yet. I guess I clicked it one too many times. Darn, I wanted to activate Sahili. What? No, no block with a one one. No block with a one one. So Spires of Roska can check that 5-4 now. Guild Globe, pretty nice. Ooh, that's a good one. What are you what are you doing, auto tap? Why would you Why would you tap the spires of Araska? There. My 
employer sends his regards. Brilliance comes easily to me. Okay, okay. Um, attacking for 15. I, guess I probably shouldn't play Antiquities War this turn. Then I. I guess I probably can play Antiquities War this turn. Wow, they're they're just gonna pile up fifteen now. Okay, now we're not. We were. Now we're not. All right, now it's Jump City. They made those so violent. But the saplings are elementals also? Oh no, oh that just triggers whenever a creature any creature dies. Oh. Yeah. Okay, just those, just those. I can deal with just those. Look out. Oh my gosh, it's the worst auto tap ever. We got Mox. Our actions determine the course of history. Silent, obedient perfection. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. We're just going to keep bashing in with 1818s until our opponent runs out of stuff. Yeah, we now have removal. We now have removal. Ugh. I didn't think we were going to win this game like an hour and a half ago. But I'm starting to come around. I think I think we got this. Oh, this is game three? Okay, I thought this was game two. We won a game already? Oh, oh, Antiquities War and they conceded one? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember that a couple hours ago. Now. Yeah, this is the abyss.
Bugan. More cards. Still one step behind. Wanna shine and then so are you. Uh, do 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 do. I like to think fast. My creations are things of beauty. Really? Why spies of Roscoe the first land to tap all the time? This is some good quality magic right here. We just have five twenty one twenty ones. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Make that six twenty one twenty six twenty one twenty ones. No. All right, victorious two and one. Okay, what a game. Yeah, that was a great game. Some good, clean magic right there. That was not opponent bad manners at all. Opponent was, was all they said was good game. Like, that was, a, that was a really good game. That was not opponent bad manners whatsoever. Um, something's going crazy with my arena here. Some like arena thing came up on my other screen. And then I guess it closed. Yeah, we are playing a yeah, we're a vintage deck. We're playing Moxes and Antiquities War and Karns. See Healy's good enough for vintage. Oh no, we're playing against Samantha. All right, good luck, Samantha. All right, what we got over here? Gilgate. We got sub battle stream. We got early early sub battle stream. I mean, waiting till Saturday or like uh, not this upcoming Saturday, but the next Saturday. Yeah, it's a battle day already. Ooh, so we got Sultai Field. All right, activating this treasure map. We need to find lands. Oh, uh, sorry, Antiquities War. You're so cool, though. I need lands. I'm not activating it upkeep, of course, because I want to just be able to slam Karn, Sion, Averza, and tick up and try to get more lands. Hooray. A curious choice. <laughs> yeah, this is three Risen Reef decks in a row. That's just kind of what happens. We played three vampires in a row earlier. Now we got three Risen Reef in a row. They're different... Types of Risen Reef, though. You are only hurting yourself. Um, I'm just gonna draw. Okay, that was good. Decisive action is needed. What an 
interesting creature. Let's see how you work. Like to draw a six land for Ugin here, because then you know we could go Ugin, Thaumatic Compass. Maybe make a Karnstruct. Ugin's gotta kill that thing. We gotta just hopefully draw the, the land here. Come on, draw land. Something special for you. Land. Do not defy the designs of an elder dragon. I, my plans do not include you. <laughs> there is great power. All right. <clears throat> boom, boom. I still have five cards. Oh no, Masker Girl? Okay, that's. Wait, that's good for me. Right? That seems pretty good for me. Get Golos out of here. Golos is going to be a big problem. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. So I have six mana right now. I think I won a seventh mana. So I'm gonna tick up the car and not tick down. How convenient. An excellent choice. Well, so much for having a seventh mana. That didn't work. Um Ah, there's the land. Don't want the land right there. We're gonna scry. Want an artifact? There we go, Gill Globe, that's good. Take that, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna keep Antiquities War. We could exile it with the Mystic Forge. So yeah, Mystic Forge lets us only play colorless cards off the top. It doesn't let us play lands like the other things do. And of course the colorless spells cost two less though with Ugin. Uh-oh. Nexus. That wasn't good. Hmm. Not liking my chances here. Right at the top, it's a bad sign.
Blech. It's just over. Too many nexuses. I guess I need to make a construct. I tried. So I tried to hit the land so I could flip. I wanted to hit the land so I could flip compass, but I guess I just need to make a construct. Don't really have a, a sideboard here for this. Matchup. Don't think this is a selective snare matchup. I don't have a sideboard for many matchups, to be honest. I'm just kind of playing my 75 in, in my main deck. All right, I like this. I don't think Ashiok does very much against them. Wait, what does Ashiok do against Nexus? Like, honestly, what... As far as, like, the shuffle part. Doesn't Ashiok say that you can't shuffle? That you cannot shuffle? Oh, they can't search. Right. So they can shuffle. They can't search. Okay, sorry. So that, that's what it is. You can't search your library. Okay. The world yields to art, not This card has looked really good. I think I, I should have another one of these. That's what I kind of feel like. It's just always, like, the zero is always draw two in this deck. Ah, let's see how you respond to genius. And drawing two is pretty nice. That card's just really good. I could probably get a little bit more value out of the Mox Amber than just playing it for a 1-1 one -one here. We would have ticked up and then drawn two. We would have been able to draw that side, of course. Awaken. Genius is as genius does. Oh, 
Okay. Um, I cannot stop that. Pretty sure we can have lethal here, though. Maybe. No, maybe not. No, maybe not. Stop. Truth Stop. lies beyond vision. Are there the other side? Know how this ends. So many lands. I will fight with honor. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Let's turn Gil Globe into a nine nine. Do I have your attention now? I guess I did have lethal. Yeah, I did. I did. This is three here. All right, my bad. Yeah, I could have done three more damage there. Samantha just kind of said good game there, and I, I just kind of gave up thinking. I just thought it's over when she said good game there. All right, I, I, could, have, I could have done the extra three. That's my bad. We'll see if we lose now. That'd be really bad if, if I lose this somehow now. Okay, so now I couldn't handle this. Okay. All right, game number three. see what we got we had a very good hand there this one not so much all right this is doable all right field of ruin could destroy a field of the dead for us So do I want to place a Healy next turn or start activating a treasure map? I think I want to just start activating treasure map. Try to start getting a bunch of treasures. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but not really that. Their ramping is a lot more fast. It's a lot faster than my ramping. It's a lot more fast.
So I guess destroying a field of the dead does give them one zombie. So I should do it on their upkeep. So the zombie can't just attack me there. But I want to do this before I scry with the treasure maps. Yeah, treasure map was a was a was a well designed card. That'll be one that's gonna be missed for sure. I don't know what you're doing, Karn, to be honest. What am I doing with you? No, you're going to the bottom. Ooh, yeah, good call. Blue kitty cat. No, not another field of the dead. I wish I could put blast zone on zero. I don't know really what I'm looking for here. So we'll just slow them down a good amount. I guess maybe I should have brought in selective snares, honestly. Like, I probably would have taken out compass for snare. Like, this, I would much rather have selective snare here. Like, think if we just bounced, like, all these zombies. That, that was the sideboarding that I was kind of going back and forth between was snare or compass. Please no nexus. No nexus. Yay, no nexus. You've never seen anything like this. Stop tapping the treasure cove. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Araska's gonna be really nice though, also. Araska's a lot better against like the jellyfish. I was more worried about the jellyfish. Well, it's gonna be harder to stabilize now. Why, why am I not blocking this thing? Alright, Selective Snare would have been better. Ugh. Yep, needed Selective Snare. I don't like have a way to
I don't have a way to remove a counter from this blast zone, do I? Sure don't think so. Guess you can only tick up. Good choice. Just don't stop the time. I need the bus. All right, GG's. All right, so if I play that again, so if we play against like the not the non scape shift version of Field of the Dead, like. Snare is too slow against the scape shift version, but we'd have Ashiok for that. So against the non scape shift version, I think we should ha we should have selective snares. So learn learn that from the sideboarding. And <laughs> don't be sorry at all, Samantha. Good games. Too too fast for me with those zombies. Um so yeah, so I would, I would take out the two Thaumatic Compass for the two Selective Snare if I would play that again. I think that last game, if Compass was Selective Snare, we could have just bounced all those zombies and we would have been fine. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. Samantha gifted out all those subs. It's a, You don't need to feel bad about winning. It's all good. I know Snare's not echoing truth. You have to, you have to spend mana, but we had enough mana to bounce... You know, we could have bounced six, seven zombies, and we would have been we would have been fine. But yeah, so like against like the against the regular scape shift versions that go like super wide with scape shift, we can't you can't really like it's too slow there. But against that kind, that's just like playing lands and just getting zombies from the lands, you can have selective snare. So lesson learned, that is good. But yeah, welcome um, to the channel here, Knocker. Mark Hamas, Lord Vandar, uh, Ninja, and Chief Seth getting the gifted subs here. And of course, getting that hype in the channel. Did I not put hype boats? I did not put hype boats. I gotta get some hype boats in there. All those other hype boats, none of those are mine. There we go. Thanks, Samantha. Thank you so much. All right, so that was our mono blue antiquities. Pretty fun deck here. Um, at times it looked like that you know not having not having any removal certainly hurt at times but then other times we, even though we were facing down a bunch of creatures we could stabilize with the power of Sai and Sahili and the Karns and everything uh Karn great creator didn't look absolutely amazing i would maybe it's possible like maybe we don't really need Karn the great creator this this card looks like really slow and not not anything that i that I loved like maybe like instead of like these three slots like maybe another Tezzeret because this card did look really good being able to draw two all the time so like another Tezzeret and then a couple of other things like um you know like I don't know what else but I'd have to kind of go through the artifacts but you know maybe maybe doing that and then and then you could actually play like real sideboard cards but we are just a mono blue deck so there's not really real sideboard cards we could go blue red Though also, if, if we don't want to play Karn the Great Creator, um, there's two things that I originally started this with. Oh my gosh. Blue, red with Storm the Vault. And so like if, if we don't play Karn the Great Creator, we could probably go blue, red, go Storm the Vault, another Tezzeret, and then and a Joyra. And maybe, honestly, maybe even like two Joyras. Maybe just two Joyras instead of this extra Tezzeret. But Joyra... I, like, I didn't really love that other Karn. Basically. The Storm of the Vault could get us a whole lot of mana. When flipping over to the Vault of... Catlican. 
And then Joyra can get us a whole bunch of cards. Every historic spell, we draw a card. And then, like, you can actually play, like, red spells in your sideboard. You know, like, then you can have, like, you know, Flame Sweep and all that kind of stuff. You know, you can have, like, a even have, like, a Star of Extinction. And then, and you know, you can play, like, Lava Coils and all that kind of stuff. So, like, that's that's another option that you could take it is going blue-red there. Yeah, Replication is just too expensive and not really necessary. I think. I don't know. Like, this... Like, the best thing this does... Like, honestly, like, this would have won us a lot of games, actually, now come to think of it. Because you choose you choose the Karnstruct, right? Like, you, you make a Karnstruct, and you tr turn all of your Karnstruct... All of your artifacts into Karnstruct. So you have, like, you know, like, they're all 10-10s or 11-11s or whatever. But... But there were, so like those are some other options there. But anyway, getting back to like what our deck looked like, it was these. There's some cool stuff we can do here. I may have to make like another. I was definitely impressed with Sahili. There, Sahili and Sai. I may have to like kind of redo this deck and make it again, make it blue red with Storm the Vault and Joyra, you know, for a different throwback Thursday. Maybe not next week, because we just played it this week, so maybe in like two weeks. Um, two or three weeks, maybe make a Joyra deck, uh, where Joyra, where we can draw a lot of spells with Joyra and have Storm the Vault and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. So that's Mono, Blue, and Ticketees. Pretty fun little deck here. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, leave a comment what other cards... Uh, you want me to build around for future Throwback Thursdays as well. But thanks so much for mo watching uh, Mono Black Antiquities, and I will see you for the next video.